Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing information line for requesting the price of this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly for pricing. Email me at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a 2021 launch based on 2020's resurrection of the Gerald Charles brand. Now, Gerald Charles was the second watch company founded by watch designer Gerald Genta after he founded and sold his eponymous Gerald Genta brand. So that brand was created in 1969. This one was created in the 2000s, and the Gerald Charles Maestro case was designed by Genta in 2006. Now, Genta died in 2011, but the brand has been resurrected, and 2020's Maestro 2.0 Ultra Thin is what we have right here. So this is a real Gerald Genta design under his final own brand name. It's 39 millimeters across, which means from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock, not including the crown. It's 9.2 millimeters thick as I measure it, and it's 46.9 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters circumference, and you can see it actually wears better than 2020's Maestro. That watch was 42 millimeters wide and relatively thick. This one is 39 and thinner. You can see it'll easily fit underneath a dress cuff. It is a dress watch. Watch, though it's a sporty dress watch and it's not too broad across the wrist so you can see how it's nowhere near the edge of my wrist and you can see that too from over the top I recommend it for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference now taking a quick look at the strap Gerald Shaw says that the strap itself was also designed by Genta with a inset series of pyramid peaks in several rows and columns. You can see that there's a little recess in the flank of the case that allows the strap to be inserted and there's no daylight visible between strap and case. So the idea here was a close coupling of the two to create a highly integrated look, albeit without a bracelet. Now it's a lovely matte green and you can see on the underside we have the Gerald Shaw logo and that on both sides. It's very supple and thin strap. It's flexible and comfortable, and you can see it is a brand new Gerald Shawl factory strap. The watch includes a simple Gerald Shawl pin buckle, but it has some handsome flourishes from its double finish, both polish and satination, and then the use of screws to fix the buckle to the strap, which is a nice upscale touch. The case is a little bit of a fusion of the original Roger Dubuis Sympathy and then the Daniel Roth Ellipso Curvex case shape with a wrinkle at the base of the dial that is Gerald Genta's original innovation. You can see that the lugs are relatively strong. They project straight out from the case. The case is tiered with one, two steps, both high polished, and then we have a little bit of a plinth on which the sapphire sits. If you look carefully you can see that there's sort of an inner chaptering. That is a polished mirrored surface on which the sapphire actually sits and holds its station. Now the watch includes an emerald green metallic sunburst dial. It has a radial grain emanating out from the center. It has a railroad track outboard for reading minutes and seconds, and that follows the contour of the case, the bezel, the sapphire, and the dial. So all of these things are symmetrical and shaped likewise. We have applique indices, and they're primarily a baton or lozenge shaped, as are the hands at center, but we do have at the quarters circular indices. Now the watch includes a frame for the date, which is white on black down at six o'clock. And as you can see, no fewer than four rows of sharp pyramid knurling on the crown. The crown outboard features the Gerald Charles logo and it watch has hacking seconds. It also has a quick set date mechanism. So if you wish, you can rapidly set the date should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. Now, while it is a dress watch, it is a sporty dress watch, being stainless steel, automatic winding, well-loomed, and 100 meters water resistant with a screw-down crown. When you turn it over, you can see there's a Vauche 3000 series movement on the reverse side. Automatic winding, it has two mainspring barrels and a 50-hour power reserve. You could see that it pivots on 28 joules, 
close and it's impressively adjusted in a chronometer style five positions. It has the hacking seconds, it has the quick set date, and as you can see, it features a number of fine finishing flourishes, including a polished screws, engine turning on the base plate, and a Cote de Soleil style Geneva wave that emanates out from the center of the balance. You can see how it, it flows out over the bridges rather than being parallel stripes. It's like a sunburst radiating out from the balance. The watch has a beat rate of 28,800 vibrations per hour or eight beats per second. And as you can see, the balance is adjusted in five positions and it's free sprung, which allows it to be adjusted more precisely and also makes the watch more durable and shock tolerant. A rare watch from a fun brand and a design from the pen of an acknowledged master. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.